He reminds me. I heard. I heard. I heard this yesterday when you came in. So, um, let's talk about that. Oh gosh. For those who not know, <clears throat> two episodes ago we praised um, all the black women, not just Shakari. Mm-hmm. Shakari, excuse me. Um, we didn't just praise her. We praised all the black women, and then more black women won. Um, but we praise them for killing it in the Olympics and going to Tokyo. Um, for those who I know, Shakari is from, she, well, I don't know where she's from, but she runs for LSU. She's now a pro athlete. Um, she came in number one. She was um, the U.S. favorite to win over there. I don't know if she was going to be the actual winner because those girls in Jamaica is fast as shit. Um, but that's not the point. Jamaica do is, does have fast runners. Fast as shit. And so with that, um, she was banned. She was disqualified. Excuse me. I can't use the word banned. She was disqualified because she failed a drug test, um, for marijuana. Um, and she came out and said she smoked because her biological mom died and she needed to cope and she was going through it. She smoked and she takes full responsibility. And what was your first thoughts? Let's go there because I'm gonna go to fucking Sorry. <clears throat> So I got two perspectives here, as always, because it's key. <laughs> so one, she know that she should not have been smoking. Absolutely. Okay. Sis, you know, I mean, I know that is a difficult time in your life, and I get it. Mm-hmm. Um, but knowing, like, where you are and what you are trying to accomplish and the goals you're trying to meet and you know, she was just set up for greatness, and she just knew. I, I feel like she knew better. Mm-hmm. But at that mo- at that moment, mentally, she probably checked out, and she was just probably like, fuck it. I don't know. That's just my assumption. Okay. On the other hand, I feel like some of these rules is just, or I, I should I say this, why is there still rules about marijuana? Like, I feel like, not just the United States, but internationally, like, why do we still have this, like, I don't understand, like, has there been any type of study shown that this this plant, drug, whatever they want to call mm-hmm. it, um, is really messing with people, like, mentally? Mm. Like, I, I just, I don't understand the rule when it comes down to that. Because i seen somebody else post where it's like, it's crazy how these rules, majority of the time, affect the African-American community or the black community. And I'm just like... I don't know, like, so that's my take. Like, she shouldn't have did it, but then it's like, I'm, like, some of these rules I just, I don't understand, I don't get, you know. I posted something where I was just like, it's crazy how, like, it's legal in the United States and a couple, in a couple of states, not all the states, yeah, right? not this one. <clears throat> and then somebody responded to me and they was like, um, they was like, yeah, but this isn't a United States thing, this is international. And I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I get it, but it's like, <sighs> It's like how many there's so many rules that have been broken, so many like things that like people don't follow all the time or you get a pass on. And it's just like, really, we coming down to this. And they say that it's an enhancer and it's supposed to slow her down or this, that and the third. And if that's the case, she wouldn't have won. Right. Like if it's supposed to do these things to your body so bad, like she wouldn't even be. So my thing is, if she didn't. Well, yeah, I guess that don't even make sense. I was about to ask a stupid question. Anyway, go ahead. So here's my thing. <clears throat> I immediately let me let me do it like this. I'm not here to talk about why she decided to smoke. Um, because she smoked for whatever reason she thought mentally she wasn't in the right place and she turned to marijuana. Yeah. Cool. Um, and I understand. I haven't lost a parent. So I can't sit here and act like, yo, this is what I would have done. Yeah. Cause it ain't I I don't know. Yeah. Um, first of all, let's go to the rules of the Olympics. It's a worldwide thing. There's countries that have stricter drug rules than us. There's countries where you can do what the fuck you want. Mm-hmm. Okay. To make it fair, the Olympics has a list of things you can't do. All athletes that sign up know exactly what they can and cannot do. So when I see people make excuses, and I'm going to use that word loosely, but I mean it at the same time. So I don't think I'm using it loosely. But when I use the term excuses, I've seen a lot of excuses, especially from our people. And she knew. So there's a list of drugs you can't do, things you can't do. You know, if they say, yo, you can't use Tylenol, you know you can't fucking use Tylenol. And here's the thing. 
Shikari was the favorite going in. She was the favorite heading to Tokyo. So with that being said, Shikari didn't get these list of rules a year ago. She didn't start training a year ago. I'm imagining that. I imagine somebody came to her a couple years ago and said, yo, you got a shot at the Olympics. Um, here's the other part. She goes to fucking LSU. And I'm only addressing the excuses that people were giving her. I'm not addressing her because in her mind, if she said, yo, the pain was so hard that I, I knew I was risking it all. And I said, fuck it. I just had to do it. And what she said, she's taking accountability for us. I'm not tripping. But here's the thing. The NCAA rules, she can't smoke weed there either. So with people who saying, yo, the Olympics got to change. No, no, no. The NCAA, if y'all really care that fucking much, you got to ask the NCAA to fucking change because her rules have been the same. A year ago, two years ago, and they're going to be the same for the next two years if she goes back to LSU, LSU and runs, which I don't know if she will. Um, and if I was her, I wouldn't. I would just go pro. You can stop running at school. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. I think you can do that. Don't hold me again. I ain't Stephen A. Smell. <laughs> so with that, I see those excuses. So we got that out the way. Fuck that. Um. So for me, I look at the rules and shout out to the Business Star Fry podcast. I might be a host on that, too. I was just on there. But you know what I'm saying? We had a conversation um, and Mike brought up an interesting point of saying, yo, is it? He said, you know, we using the same logic that supremacists use when we say, hey, one of ours broke the rules and we still want them a part of it. So should we change it? And his example was when supremacists saw Atlanta was getting too black. They started changing the voting rules in Georgia. He said, well, are we saying, hey, we're doing too good in Georgia, but we're getting disqualified off of a rule that's been the same. Should we adjust it? He was like, yo, to, he said for him, he found it interesting that the same logic was applied. Now, some of y'all probably saying, what the hell was that? Go listen to Business Star Fry podcast season three, episode one. <laughs> you can hear what the hell he said. Exactly. Um. So then I turn, and my biggest thing about this whole thing is her circle. They disappointed me. I told my wife this when we got started. I said, I'm highly disappointed in this whole situation. Um, and it hurt to see all this shit because somebody in her circle got to say, yo, yeah. it's 20 plus million dollars at state. <clears throat> I know you're going through it. Let me make sure you stay with me tonight. Let me make sure it, if it, let me tell y'all what happened. Her mom passed five years, five days later. She she ran. She smoked. She said within the last five days, if her mom passed, guess what happens, y'all? Somebody in her circle has to say, yo, it's 20 million dollars on the line. You can't. I need to make sure you are good and that you don't go drinking dry that night. You don't go drinking and twist your ankle. You know what I'm saying? Even though I know you're going through it. If that means I got to hold you the whole fucking night and let you just cry and weep. I got you. Now, somebody don't, and you know, I'm getting tired of, you know, I've seen a lot of excuses. Don't worry. She'll get the bag. She didn't fumble the bag. Yes, the fuck she did. I'm sorry to let y'all know that. Let me tell you what happens. It's $1,000 left in this world. It's Kiana and it's fucking Bill Gates. It's only, it's the last $1,000 left in this world. It's Kiana and Jeff Bezos. Let me tell y'all like something. Like that's any better. Jeff Bezos is not letting fucking Kiana get that last thousand dollars. And he got the most money in the goddamn world. He gonna knock Kiana ass out. <laughs> now she ass. she she gonna try. She gonna fight. But th th let me just show you that the richest man in the world is saying, "Yo, I have hundreds of billions of dollars. You know, I have over a hundred billion dollars." And Kiana, who's a millionaire, we gonna speak it in this. Yes, Lord, claiming it. He's gonna say, "Yo, I'm willing to knock her out to get that last thousand dollars." That's how the world works. So I, I love seeing broke people, and I call myself in that thing because I'm not wealthy. I'm not rich. Mm -hmm. I love to see broke people talk money like they fucking got it. Jay-Z is not letting $10 million walk, $20 million walk. You know what I'm saying? Whoever y'all want to call out, they're not letting that money walk. So, yes, if she could, if, let's say next year she makes 20. Think about she could have had 40, but now you had 20. You starting behind the A-ball even more. You know what I'm saying? What if Nike... Her sponsor says, yo, this is a bad look for us at the moment. We're going to have to drop you. Let's readdress, but adjust did, next year. They didn't, just FYI. They did not. <laughs> but what if? You know what I'm saying? There's, it, was a, it was a possibility. Absolutely. And they would have had every right to because it's in their contract. You can't make the company look bad. So that's what I mean by people making excuses. And, you know, we got to understand your circle has to be stronger. If I was her right now, whoever was with me in that house that I smoked in, um, I don't give a fuck if it's family. 
And I ain't saying you got to turn your back on your family, but y'all can't be around my circle when I'm training. Because, and I hate to say it, it's fucked up to say. Yo, that wasn't her first time smoking. Yeah, we know that. And shout out to all the smokers that hit me up and was like, yo, I could tell, I've been on, she was a smoker. And I know people's like, what are you trying to say? Is that discriminating? Are you discriminating? Are you looking at her looks? No, I don't smoke. Key don't smoke either. But we, me and Key have been out with people that do smoke and they know who the fuck to go up to in this random group of strangers to say, yo, y'all got any bud? And we'd be like, how the fuck you know they smoke? It's just Black a Black people know. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So. Even for the the others. Yeah, you know. they know. <laughs> I didn't see Rena go up to, yo, you got some, they be like, yeah, man, how much you need? Yeah. They know. don't even charge you. We know. White folks don't even charge you when you ask for a little bud. They be like, oh, here you go, bro. Yeah. I didn't see this shit happen. So that. And then my thing is, yeah, we knew that y'all <laughs> got to quit with the let's boycott this shit. That shit pissed me off. <laughs> Why? It's cancel culture. They canceling everything. They everything. canceling oh everybody. My Might as well cancel it. Why not? Y'all got to wanna cancel. So what? Want to cancel. So <laughs> like, look, we can't sit here and praise the other black women who are going to Tokyo because just to give everybody a heads up. The 100 meters is all going to still be black women. I seen um uh, somebody else from the U.S. said that. She was like, how y'all just going to leave us hanging, basically? Yeah, yeah Gabby said that because she's in the 200 and she was fast as shit. And I did think, if I recall that race correctly, I think the white girl did come in fourth. So maybe it might be a white girl going up. But the point is, it's still black women running. It's still black women swimming. And I know the swim caps is, caps is fucked up. And a lot of people are using that as like, yo, we can't watch. because No, man, it's still black people in this shit. It's still black people, and they might not be called black, so to speak, but it's people of color that looks just like us around this country, around this world, who are still our brothers and sisters that you got to go out here and support, man. Like, look, Usain Bolt is Jamaican. He ain't black. He Jamaican. He a nigga. You know what happened? I mean, he's black. He's just not African American. He's not African American. He's black. Absolutely. Thank you for correcting me. Hand claps. They was gonna flame my ass in the mm-hmm. comments. Like, he is black. He is black. <laughs> the hell you talking about? They love doing that shit. But let me tell you this. He's not African American. He is black. But guess what happened? Niggas was acting like he was one of us. Cause he is. When he was winning, we was acting like we was Jamaican. Going out there fucking getting flags and shit. Black people love getting flags and jerseys and shit. They ain't they ain't. They ain't, they ain't. <laughs> this is coming from the guy that got a Brazilian jersey, soccer jersey. I ain't never watched a soccer game a day in my damn life. But that's mm-hmm. another subject. So that was my thing, man. That pissed me off. Um, Any last thoughts before we get this podcast started? No, like, it just sucks for her. She knows she shouldn't have did it. But then I uh, I, I kind of like, they got to change up the rules. Sorry, that's me. Very opposite of probably what Mike said. But <laughs> No, no, no. I, don't. He, well, I guess his thing was like, I don't even know what his thing was. Because he was saying they could change the rules, but he was like, yo, what you going to do? He was like, yo, in every country, you're going to have to have like a U.N. type meeting. and Everybody's going to have to agree with it because if not. Um, Wait, what do you mean? Because if that's the case, then does it have to be like a majority rule type thing? Well, that's that's what he's saying. You got to get every country. All the countries agree on these rules. These rules are so old. And he was saying, you got to get all the... It's not a U.S. thing. It's not, okay, the U.S. one. I guess because the U.S. has, like, their... Specifically, marijuana... Marijuana? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Marijuana rule is by state. And I think that's where, like, it's confusing. Well, for the Olympics rules, to qualify for the Olympics... Olympic does the testing. The Olympic committee and all them do the testing. The Olympics have it in their rules. You can't smoke weed. Right. What I'm saying is if they were to change that rule, you're Mm -hmm. saying collectively, internationally, the countries would have to come together, come together and make that that decision. My question is, would that be a majority of this or everybody has to be in? I don't know. Because I used to work for the U.N. I stopped. Okay. Um, (laughs) Because if it's everybody, then the U.S. would be contradicting their state rules but Mm -hmm. it may be different because it's based on state and not government federal well i I don't know i think to get the olympics to change their personal rules for just the olympic games yeah you would have to get that but everything else whether it's the ncaa or what like right now in the nfl they're not testing for weed i don't think the nba is going to be doing it as well the nba in it i don't think baseball basketball football none of them test for weed that's cool but if kevin durant goes he's playing in the games if the Olympics test him and he pop positive for weed, they're going to be like, bro, you can't hoop. 
You know, even though the NBA say we don't give a fuck. And all the NBA players smoke weed. I don't know why that rule is out there, this logic. I love when I hear the old head say, no, nobody's smoking weed. They all smoke weed. I used to work at a hotel. We used to pick up their weed after they And then James, James Harden just got caught. You hear yeah. about that? Nah, what happened with him? I think he got caught with one of them, one of them little rappers. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's get this pod started. I listen to the 